Hey YouTubers, Nomus RC. I wanted to make a video on basically setting up your ET-115 with a FlySky radio. Um, the reason that I want to do this is there is almost next to none on information of linking these two together and making everything work uh, in the program that you're going to be using called Betaflight. Uh, so this particular version that I got here of the uh, the ET-115 little quadcopter um, is actually bind and fly to FlySky Radio, uh, which I've not seen many of, so that's pretty cool. Um, the binding process is super simple. Um, you'll want to remove this canopy, and you'll see the receiver that this antenna is connected to. You actually hold down the only button on there and plug in the battery and then you'll notice that the LED on the board uh, will be flashing red and then you go into your radio and you go into system and you go to RX bind and literally the second that you enter bind mode on this radio it'll just instantly link um, and then this light right here will go solid red. Uh, once you exit bind mode back to this menu that you see me at currently, then the light will go green and you're paired. Uh, and the way that you know that you're paired too, for sure, is you have a little LED on the back of the quadcopter that kind of shows you inputs. So anytime that you mess with the sticks, you'll see that thing just slightly change color. Um, so that's pretty much your easiest way to know for sure that you're doing that or that you're bound. So right here on the side, you can actually see this is our USB connection uh, to connect our uh, quadcopter to our computer and to do our programming in Betaflight. Um, give me just a second and I'll be right back. So we got our quadcopter connected through USB into the computer and now we can actually interact uh, with it through beta flight um, so first thing that you do and you want your radio turned on as well um, now this is the uh, FlySky i6s um, I would assume that most of the FlySky programming is very similar um, but this is particularly for the i6s um, so radio's on, quadcopters, actually I have the battery plugged in as well, and it's plugged in USB. So we're going to come over here to and say connect. Now you will want to make sure that this thing installs uh, USB. You want to make sure what COM port it is. You may have to switch, um, but regardless, uh, that's more of a computer thing. So if you have issues with that, you may just want to search videos on understanding COM ports. Um, so we click connect. Um, it connects to our quadcopter, and we know that it's connected because when we move the quadcopter around, um, we can actually see that the flight controller is recording what I'm doing here. So that's initial. Um, you can calibrate your accelerometer right out of the box. That's up to you. Um, I, I did it just for shits and giggles, but it was pretty level to begin with. Um, <clears throat> I just want to give you guys a view of my port settings just so that you can see what I have everything set at in case you don't you know completely understand COM ports or how to get this thing to detect properly um, we're gonna come over to configuration um, this is one of your main windows that you'll be using here um, so I have it as you know quad X um, instruction wise from what I saw a couple people on the internet they said there's the 4 kilohertz 4 kilohertz so I did that anyway um, and I enabled you know uh, accelerometer and barometer I don't actually know if the quad has that but I think so uh, I named it that way when I fly FPV I have a little name down in the bottom you don't have to um, now this is the important part for it to work with the fly sky radio um, you, you have to have this correct. So it has to be set on serial based receiver and it has to be set on S bus. Okay. And in your radio, 
in your radio, you're going to need to be in system. First, again, you just hit configuration, you go to system, um, and I believe, yeah, it's output mode. So you're going to need to be PWM and SBUS. It will not work any other way. I tried. Um, it is not apparently PPM, which, whatever, that's fine. So you need to be set for serial based receiver, SBUS, and then in here PWM and SBUS under the system and output mode. Very important or this thing will not communicate whatsoever. But yeah, pretty important, like I said, that you have it set to serial based receiver SBUS. Anyway, so other features, um, the only things that I have turned on is the LED strip, black box, so I could see if something went terribly wrong. And obviously I have OSD enabled because the ET115 does have OSD built in, uh, which is really nice. Um, I believe most of this stuff here I left uh, default, but just so you can see it. Uh, your battery voltage warnings, there'll be beeps on the quad itself. Um, so there you go for those. Um, up here, I have it set to D-Shot 600, 5.5 for motor idle. Um, I'll show you technically what that means before you have to enable your motors. Um, everything else is just simply shut off there. Uh, and then this, I just left it default. All right, let's move on down to PID tuning. I didn't do anything here, um, but here's my values in case for some reason you would ever need them. And hey, who knows, maybe one day I'll need them too. I did do a backup though of the CLI on this. So receiver, this is a big part um, because initially I couldn't get this thing to detect what I was doing with my inputs. Uh, and as you can see here, throttle is correct. Rudder is correct, aileron, and elevator. Um, the, th the problem that I have, no matter what this says here, this AETR1234, uh, just set it to Free Sky Futaba High Tech, and it'll still say this. I don't know why, um, but you'll set that, and then you'll say save, and then all of a sudden, yay, all your crap is correct. Um, because what initially happened once I got it to link up with the program is all of these were out of whack like my throttle uh, on the, was this right here that was just not set correctly anyway for a fly sky you'll want to pick free sky basically for the controls here um, so now that we have that set up I can show you a little something here as well so we have I set an alarm as you can see here on auxiliary four, I have my SWD switch set for my alarm. When, if I ever lose the quadcopter, I can enable that and go running to it and hopefully find it because it's loud as hell. Um, the other thing that I set is this switch right here, which will be my SWA. And that's how I enable that's when I turn on my motors for when I'm getting ready to start actually flying. I have it set to this switch right here. And then my other switch, one of my three positions, um, I actually have this set to intermediate flight. Or I'm sorry, beginner. Beginner flight is with my switch all the way up. Beginner means that you absolutely cannot flip this quad. Um, it'll only let you go so far this way, this way, this way, and this way. So, for the most part, if you're doing FPV, you probably want it on beginner. Um, intermediate, you still have stabilization, but it will allow you to over-rotate. So you can do a complete flip and then be back straight up. And this thing will flip very, very fast and easy. Uh, forward flips or aileron rolls. Um, so that's intermediate is my middle switch. And then all the way down is complete manual flight, which is literally like flying a collective pitch helicopter. I mean, it's all over the place until you really get the hang of it. So again, all the way up 
uh, is beginner, intermediate, and then manual flight. Uh, I'm actually going to show you how to set those in the program. So modes, that's where we set all this crap at. So auxiliary five is my, I'm going to come into the radio here so that we can see. So under function and then auxiliary channels, The very first thing that I have set, I had to actually set it for channel 9. So my switch A, I put on channel 9 on the radio, just so you know. And that's actually in the program auxiliary 5. And you'll see here when I enable it, it lights up. And then you're going to want to set it to, you know, anywhere up here that once that switch is enabled, it'll be in that range. 1800, 2100 is what I currently set it at. So that's for that one. So that's auxiliary five. So let's bump, let's bump back a channel. Um, and this one is gonna be channel eight in the radio. And I set the switch, again, you can set these whatever you want, but I set the switch to SWD, which is this switch here and they're labeled right here on the radio. Um, and then that one in here uh, is going to be, oops, I need to scroll down a little bit. That's going to be my beeper, that beeper that I was showing you uh, when the quad is, you know, went down and you can't find it because it's so small. Uh, and again, that's channel 9 on the radio. I'm sorry, channel 8. Let's put the backlight on. There, that's channel 8 on the radio, and it's auxiliary 4 in the program. These really screwed me up for a minute. But you can go back and forth with your configuration, or I'm sorry, your, your receiver, um, and enable these things on your radio, and then just kick the switches and see which one it is. And you're like, oh, look, you know, I just set channel, I enabled channel 9 and set it to SWA, and when I flip it over here, okay, that's messing with auxiliary 5. That's, that's how I figured these out. It's not, you know, rocket science, but it was kind of a pain in the beginning. Um, so let's go back to modes. So we've went over uh, channel 9 and channel 8, which channel 9 was to enable my motors. Channel 8 was for the alarm. Now we're going to get into... Everything else I have put on channel 7, which is SWB, which is my three position switch. So channel 7, and in the program, channel 7 is actually auxiliary 3. So what you're going to want to do here um, is you're going to want to set air mode, angle mode, and horizon all to auxiliary 3. Okay? And angle is the beginner. That's the beginner phase that you cannot over-rotate the quad or do anything crazy. You cannot flip it over. That's angle. And I have that set like this. 900 to... What is that? 1300. 900 to 1300. My second is intermediate, which is called horizon mode. And that's from 1300 to... 1700 so it stops 1300 starts here and goes 1300 to 1700 and then my full manual mode which is called air mode is 1700 to 2100 on again channel 7 swb which is this switch right here this three position and it's that's what it's current. That's pretty much concludes it for all the auxiliary channels. Like I said, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to uh, figure out, but once you got it, you got it. Um, and I wanted to make sure and put this video up because nobody else has put a video up for uh, the particular Fly Sky and the ET115. 
Um, and to be honest, this is an F3 flight controller that's inside here. So the programming should actually transverse to any F3 flight controller, which is a very, very popular flight controller um, for anything, you know, 90 size up to 250 size. Now, it's probably the most popular that's on the market. So now you know how to program, you know, a uh, F3 flight controller through Betaflight on a Flysky. Um, anyway, we're going to hop down to motors. There's not really anything that's here. Um, you can uh, put this little switch and just kind of test your motors out just to make sure that they're working. Other than that, you don't really do anything under here. Uh, On-screen display. Now, this, again, is going to be for this particular ET-115. These are all the things that you can set. Um, these are the ones that I currently have set. And then LED strip, nothing nothing notable there. You can change colors of it. Uh, the CLI, however, this is pretty important. Uh, when you want to back up your, your quad, you simply type dump and then enter, and it'll give you, you know, every single uh, setting in there. And then you can go down here and say save to file, and then you have your quad completely saved. Um, I recommend that you do that before you even adjust any settings at all. All right, guys, that's pretty much the lowdown on that. Uh, I will definitely give you guys some more videos as far as uh, overall review of these products. All right, as always, subscribe below.